Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 286 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Although it says the quiz was submitted by Suzanne Durr, this was a team effort and it required Suzanne, Tim, Rachel, and Jevin to get this quiz done. They've submitted two of them actually for the Quizlet challenge. Thank you guys. Let's get started with question number one. This carbonated drink is made by fermenting sugared tea, often with flavorings added afterward. Although its purported health benefits aren't proven, many people like to drink it as an alternative to soda. What is this drink thought to have originated in China? The answer is kombucha. Question number two. A crescent moon is the biconcave shape of the moon in its first or last quarters. What is the phase of the moon called when you see more than half of it, but not all of it? It's not a full moon, but it's more than half. What's that phase called? That is known as its gibbous phase, gibbous. Question number three. Drag racing is a sport where two cars race each other from a standing start over short distances. Its origins can be traced back to the 1930s when drivers raced over dry lake beds trying to reach speeds of 100 miles per hour. What is the standard length of a drag strip? The answer is a quarter mile. Question number four. Many websites have a menu icon on top of their page that consists of three horizontal bars. What is the food item that this icon resembles and is often referred to as? If you call the help desk and they say, look up at the top and click on what food item? They say, click on the hamburger. Those three lines look like two buns and some meat. Question number five. In Germany, it's called the monkey's tail. In Israel, it's called a strudel. And in Norway, it's known as a pig's tail. But what is this symbol called in the United States? We call it the at sign or the at symbol. Question number six. Jeep owners consider themselves part of an informal community and express this by waving to each other in passing. Another movement among Jeep owners involves placing what item on other Jeeps to pleasantly surprise the owner? I've seen quite a few Jeeps around Dayton, Ohio with a dozen of these things in the window. They're little rubber ducks that they stick on each other's car. Question number seven. The US's deadliest prison uprising took place in upstate New York on September 9th, 1971. Five days later when the New York State Police stormed the prison and retook control, the death count stood at 43. In what New York town was this correctional facility located? The answer is Attica. Question number eight. The title of this lullaby suggests a sleepy child's eyes and nodding head and tells the story of three children sailing and fishing among the stars in a wooden shoe. What is the name of this poem by American writer Eugene Field? The 
The answer is winkin', blinkin', and nod. Question number nine. This automobile brand, owned by Japanese automobile manufacturer Nissan, began its original production in 1931. Some of its models were Fair Lady, Skyline, and Cherry. What was this automobile brand whose advertising slogan in its heyday included the phrase, We are driven. The answer is the Datsun. Question number 10. During the 1800s, the Fugate family lived in the state of Kentucky. Members of this family had a rare genetic mutation involving their hemoglobin molecule. How did this mutation express itself in their appearance? While it was probably not quite Smurf-like, members of that family had blue skin. Question number 11. While the Flintstones lived in prehistoric times, the Jetson cartoon characters lived in a comical version of a futuristic space age. Both families included a dog in their makeup. The Flintstones had a dog named Dino. What did the Jetsons call their dog? The answer is Astro. Question number 12. This invasive plant, brought to the U.S. from Asia in the 19th century, was promoted as a solution to soil erosion after the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. What is the name of this climbing vine that was once valued for its ability to grow fast, but is now known as the vine that ate the South? The answer is the kudzu vine. Question number 13. One of American painter Andrew Wyeth's most famous works shows a young woman reclining in the middle of a treeless field with her back to the observer and looking up at her house on the horizon. What is the name of this famous painting now held by the Modern Museum of Art in New York? One of Andrew Wyeth's most popular paintings, it is Christina's World. Question number 14. For many years, starting in the 1990s, a mysterious man would visit the grave of the author of the poem The Raven on January 19th, his birthday. This visitor would pour himself a glass of cognac, then leave behind three roses when he left. How was this unidentified man referred to in the media? What did they call him? It's actually a pretty cool nickname. They called him the Poe Toaster. Question 15. On January 15, 1919, a storage tank burst in the north end of Boston, spilling a wave of hot liquid into the streets of the city, killing 21 people and injuring many more. What was this thick liquid that rushed through the streets at an estimated 35 miles per hour? Boy, that would not be good. 35 mile an hour, hot molasses coming at you. The answer is molasses, no bueno. Question number 16. Benjamin Franklin was one of the founding fathers of the United States and is the first U.S. ambassador to France. Finish this quote that is attributed to Franklin after signing the Declaration of Independence. We must all hang together, or we will most assuredly what? After they signed the Declaration, he said we must hang together or we will most assuredly hang separately. Question 17. It became a symbol of revolution when Argentinian revolutionary Che Guevara wore one. New York's crime-fighting guardian angels wore them in the late 1970s. Prince sang about a raspberry one. 
What is this article of clothing? The article of clothing we're looking for is a beret. Question number 18. In the life cycle of a butterfly, the adult butterfly lays the eggs which hatch and become caterpillars. Next, the caterpillar forms itself into a vessel where it changes into a butterfly. What is that stage of the life cycle called? Metamorphosis is the process, but when they're in that little vessel, that is known as the pupa or a chrysalis. Question number 19. Around the time of World War II, the Navy recognized a need for construction workers who could build necessary infrastructure and defend it. John Wayne portrayed one of these military persons in one of the few films where he died. What is the name of this unit of men who build and fight and drink all night? The answer is CBs, or CBs as in the Construction Battalion. And question 20. Al Cap wrote a comic strip that ran from 1934 to 1977 and featured a cast of hillbilly characters living in Dogpatch. Who was the titular character who eventually proposed to his romantic interest, Daisy May? The answer is Lil Abner. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Thank you again to Suzanne, Tim, Rachel, and Jevin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing all of those names correct. This was their, I believe we haven't aired their other one yet, but they sent in two quizzes for the Quizlet Challenge. They received their road trip kit. See the picture above. And just know that if you want to get one of these cool road trip kits, all you got to do is send in a couple of trivia quizzes that we can post onto the channel. Check out the Facebook page for more information. If you enjoy watching this type of trivia, click subscribe, follow along with this channel. New trivia quizzes every single day. We've got over 1,300 now on YouTube. Here's question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. According to Wikipedia, the first cannonball run, which is an unsanctioned cross-country automobile race, took place in 1971. The starting point was the Red Ball Garage in New York City, and the race ended at the Portofino Inn in Redondo Beach in California. How long did it take the winners Brock Yates and Steve Smith to complete their run? Whichever player gets closest to the right amount of time is going to win the point. It took them 35 hours and 54 minutes. So if you guessed 35 hours, you're pretty close, but actually if you guessed 36 hours, you would have been closer and you would win the point. Whichever player got the closest wins the point. If it was a tiebreaker, they just won the whole game. Congratulations. Thank you again to Suzanne and company. See everybody tomorrow.